You even look like CJ. Not from GTA 5, but from the classic GTA San Andreas. Remember that song? If you're a gamer, you would remember the CJ song from San Andreas. How can I even forget? Welcome to San Andreas, it's CJ from Grove Street, land of the heinous <laughs> and cold heat. Los Santos neighbors get no sleep, beefing with anybody, competing, even police. I, I, I'm so glad I dra dropped the idea of becoming a rapper. When I was a teenager, I even got, even had chains. So, anyway, I should better stick with Photoshop. So I have a news for you, I will be reacting and reviewing your Photoshop projects extra points if they are funny in an upcoming video. So if you want to participate, do post your Photoshop projects on Instagram with the hashtag PixReview and tag PixImperfect. Hi there, this is Unmesh from PixImperfect. I hope you're having a great day and making it an awesome one. This is a special video and you make it special because I get a chance to react to your Photoshop work. Thank you so very much for submitting your photos for this. We received about 1500 submissions. And also at the end of the video, I will be happy to announce the star of the day and I will personally follow that account. So without any further ado, let's get started. Back in the magical world of Instagram this time and the first image is brought to you by Dinesh98. Thank you so much Dinesh for submitting this photo. Let's take a look. This is a wonderful composite. So here is the before and here is the after. If you have a closer look at the before, I really love that you took the effort to remove this person and it's not an easy thing to do because there's this person and a lot of reflections right there. So you remove them right and also I love that you applied a global color grade to make sure that the subject and the background match together. Now if I were you, I would make the shadows a little harder. Now I'm just nitpicking, this is a great composite and there's one more thing that we might have missed out. Can you guess what it is? I'll give you three seconds. Three, two, one. Have you guessed it? If yes, congratulations. Now if you have a look at this protrusion right there, this has a reflection on the building glass. But if you have a look at Spider-Man, where is the reflection? Maybe this is a horror movie. But if I were to create this reflection, I would place it right there and apply a curves adjustment layer and use the rightmost point and bring it down to make it a little darker. Learn from the other reflections. If you have a look at the sky, the sky is very bright, but in the reflection, it has been made a little darker. And that's what happens with some glasses. The secret is to take a break and get back to see the obvious that you might be missing because you're so engrossed in making it look realistic. The next image is brought to you by Pascal Wagner. Wow. That's the word I gotta say. Wow. This is amazing. Out of the world. <laughs> And what I love about this, I'm not going to nitpick right now. What I love about this is the idea. How can, how can somebody think of something like this? This is brilliant. Photoshop is not about getting the techniques right, getting the lighting right or the color right. It's also about how much you can imagine. And this scores a thousand on hundred on imagination. And as the neck goes further and further, it gradually blurs, showing you a perfect representation of shallow depth of field. It gives you a great sense of depth. If I were to nitpick, there's just one thing I would fix right here. Let me bring it in Photoshop. While doing any photo manipulations, we need to be aware of repeating patterns. If you take a closer look, of course the neck was extended. There might be some repeating patterns that we might want to hide. Let's take a look right here. There is this pattern. Okay. You see it repeating again. Right here. See, it's the same pattern around the same spots. You see it again right here, right? Once it blurs, there is no issue. But once you see a pattern, once you see a line or something, most people won't notice it anyway. But for your satisfaction, we can definitely work on this. And it's not hard. Just working with the healing brush tool or the patch tool in some of these areas, which can get obvious, might easily fix the repeating patterns. The next image is brought to you by, oh my gosh, Sudhir Siddhu 97, I gotta say. I haven't seen Stranger Things, I haven't seen Game of Thrones, I haven't seen Money Heist, I even haven't seen Friends and my friends uh, go crazy about this. They, they tell me, Unmesh, you haven't seen Friends? You haven't seen Game of Thrones? What kind of a person you are? Well, you guys have to make a choice whether you want to see Picks and Perfect videos or whether you want me to watch Game of Thrones or something like that. But anyway, I don't get the time to do that. But this is the Stranger thing. I would not miss watching. Take a look at him. What, what the hell is he doing? This is stranger than the original Stranger Thing. So definitely makes up for the title. Now, this is a super interesting idea brought to you by Anandan. And I have to say, Photoshop is not just about compositing. It doesn't have to be always about retouching or creating the shadow or making it 3D and all of that jazz. It can be just as simple as putting two images together if you have a brilliant idea. And this, my friend, is a brilliant idea. Let's take a look at some other images. Let's take a look at this one. Wow. 
Isn't that pretty amazing? Avocado and egg. Who would have thought? It looks like the egg with the yolk, but a different color. Very, very interesting. Kudos to you. Brilliant work, Anandan. I absolutely love it. After all, Photoshop is just a tool. It is your ideas that make a difference. M21.MR. I'm a big fan of your reflection right here. It's not easy to create reflections in liquids. Brilliant reflection. The lighting is brilliant. I think it was photographed brilliantly to match the colors. One thing to keep in mind while compositing is the direction and hardness of light. Both the direction and hardness of the light should be same on the background and the subject or whatever elements you add. Now, if I were you, I wouldn't fix it, but there's one thing that I might be concerned about just a little bit. What is she shitting on? Sit. What is, what is, what is she sitting on, right? If you take a closer look, there is this liquid right there and we cannot just sit like this. We might drown because this is deep as far as perception goes. So if I were you, I would make her sit maybe on one of the edges with her legs drowned in the liquid. This blends in wonderfully, the light is perfect, but where she is sitting, that is something that we need to think about. Now we have the awesome Genos brought to you by Citric FX. And I gotta say, this looks better than Will Smith playing the character, don't you think? It's It just fits into the genie's character at least more than Will Smith. I think yeah, we can all agree to that. I gotta commend you on the lighting, brother, and there's something we all can learn from this. Let's take a look right here. There is a red light coming from the back, and I love that you painted it right over here. And he also made sure to take it along his jaw, keeping the perspective in mind. And also, if you have a look at the right hand side, look at the highlights on the body. This has been matched so well on the face. The coloring is already brilliant. Approved. 100%. Now there's one thing that is bugging me just a little bit. I'm very nitpicking. This is not something which I should be thinking about. Take a look at where it says Genos. It has some jagged lines. It's pixelated a little bit. I don't think it's Instagram's compression because if you have a look at the rest of the photo, everything is sharp. But this is a little pixely, which is bothering me just a little bit. So maybe that's something you need to fix. Maybe we need to work with resolutions. Just work on that and it's a beautiful composite. Now this is the real OG, it's wonderful. I'm sorry, I can't help but notice that you even look like CJ. Not from GTA 5, but from the classic GTA San Andreas. Remember that song? If you're a gamer, you would remember the CJ song from San Andreas. How can I even forget? Welcome to San Andreas, it's CJ from Grove Street, land of the heinous <laughs> and cold heat. Lost Santos, neighbors get no sleep, beefing with anybody, competing, even police. I, I, I'm so glad I dra dropped the idea of becoming a rapper. When I was a teenager, I even got, even had chains. So, anyway, I should better stick with Photoshop. Wonderful effect, love how the buildings and the clouds are done. And if you want to learn how to do this, I have a video on exactly that topic. Thank you so much for following through. I love this. This is an actual footage. Really, this is an actual footage of me driving my bike in Mumbai rains. It, it's true. It, it's just a real footage. It's not Photoshop. Haters will think it's Photoshop, but it's not. Just kidding. This is brought to you by This Is Ganesh, and I gotta say, I'm really, really impressed by it. It's not only funny and interesting, but also it's so well done. The underwater scene is so well done with bubbles. And the great thing that I love about this, I think this was the original photo is on my Instagram. So this is the actual photo. And if you have a closer look, there are spokes and selecting spokes is a nightmare. And if you take a look at this, he even worked hard to select all the spokes. That's absolutely impressive. Thank you so much for doing it for me. This is brilliant. Before we move on to the next, a lot of people ask me an interesting question. If my leg is on the footrest, how is the bike standing? Well, it's for you to answer. Let me know down in the comments below. The next one is brought to you by Mangar Creations. So this is the before. Let's take a look. This is the after. The color grading on this, absolutely spot on. <laughs> love this. Now, I love that you have increased the contrast on this as well. Now, here's the thing with contrast. As we increase the contrast, there are certain things that we don't want to go dark, also goes dark. And there are certain things that we don't want to make it brighter. It also goes brighter. In this example, it's a brilliant portrait this way. And if you look at the after, the color grading is amazing. The contrast is amazing. But have a look at the eye bags they get accentuated as well. And we can easily fix this with dodging and burning, keeping the texture the way it is. So just create a new layer, change the blend mode to soft light, and then with white and black, just paint a dodge and burn. Decrease the flow to about 1% with a soft round brush. I'm just gonna dodge this area. Now 
Now this was a very quick job. Let's take a look at the before and after. This is the before and this is the after. Look how much of a difference it makes. Just painting with white and black with soft light as the blend mode. Oh my gosh. I'm not even sure if I can ever do something like this. This is actually out of this world. I gotta say this is amazing. Brilliant. I don't even know what to say. I'm speechless. Really, this, whether star of the day or not, I'm definitely, I am following this account. Definitely, follow back. Thank you for following me. Just the way the light falls on the planets. Look, it has been maintained so well. Even on the subject, our attention goes straight to it. Also, have a look at the light on the grass. These are so accurately created. And on top of that, the color grading on this, the kind of gradient and the mood that has been added to it, Wow, I'm a fan, I gotta tell you, I'm a fan. As sensei, teach me, this is brilliant. I wish I could learn from you. Amazing example of skin retouching from Mox Magna. This is how skin should be retouched. Let's take a look at the before and after. So this is the before and this is the after. Very minimal retouching. And take a look, there's all skin texture intact, all the natural elements of the skin intact. And even if you zoom in, it looks fantastic. Let's zoom in and take a look. The skin looks so realistic and it is real. Now, how to determine whether you have retouched the skin too much or too less? The secret is just zoom out and take a look. Just zoom out. Does the skin still look realistic? If yes, your retouching is on point. If on zooming out, your skin looks like wax, that's a very bad retouching. Let me show you an example. This is brilliant. Thank you so much, Mox Magna, for showing this to our audience. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for tagging me. Let's take a look. So this is an example of how you should not retouch. Looks nice. Looks good, doesn't it? Let me zoom in and show it to you. So here is the before and here is the after. Looks so soft. Looks so nice. Wonderful skin. But wait, once you zoom out, take a look at it. It looks like wax. It looks plain. It just looks so unrealistic. It looks like somebody blurred the skin and just masked out the skin areas. That is not what we want to create. To get the best results and do the best skin retouching, number one, keep it minimal. Number two, I would highly recommend if you have the time, use dodging and burning. And I definitely do have two videos on high-end dodging and burning. Please do watch them. Now looking at this work, we might say the color matching and the lighting is brilliant, but there's something that strikes me even more. Let's first take a look at the before and after. By the way, this is brought to you by the major tutorial. Let's look at this one. So this is definitely the composite element. And let's take a look. Here's the before, here is the after, right? Wonderful image. Even if you zoom in, let's take a look. Let's zoom in. Just look at the light around the edge. It's amazing. The coloring is great. Now, one thing that I love the most about it is the cleverness. That's one of the most important things that we have to keep in mind while compositing. Cleverness. How clever you are. Now, I could have decided to place the bike and the person right here. But the artist did not do that. Because if you placed it right here, you would have to create a reflection, which is very, very cumbersome. The artist cleverly placed the bike right here. So the only thing that we have to create is the shadow. And that's what I love about this. The cleverness. Great attempt. I love that you're experimenting with different things in Photoshop. Now, if I were photographing this, I would actually hold a light. So let's say I'm standing like this, right? And I want to create an effect like this. To make the light look realistic while I'm taking a photograph of myself or a friend is taking a photograph, he or she would hold a light bulb or something like that right here where the fireball will be added later in Photoshop. That way, that light would fall on my face and my body would make blending so much easier. In this case, if you had that light, you would have some realistic highlights on the face and the body. So keep that in mind. Photography is essential to how you photograph it is essential when it comes to creating the composite. This one brought to you by Urban Cloud 6. Let's take a look. Here is the before. Lot of elements. Here is the after. Great attempt. I love it. There's one thing I would work on is the shadow. Now, moon is so far from us that it doesn't create a very soft shadow. But this is a very imaginary composite. Even if we had a very soft source of light, a large source of light, the shadow would be harder where the shadow starts and will gradually get softer. Let me share with you what I mean. If I added an object right here, this is how I would create a shadow. So if this is an object, first of all, let's make a copy. Select one, press Ctrl or Command T. Now let's 
bring it down you can right click on it and then choose perspective and then let's make it something like this and of course this would be black but we can fix that later for now let's change the blend mode from normal to multiply all right the way we would add the blur is by going to filter blur gallery and then tilt shift or you can also add field blur if you want this is where the blur starts the solid line is where the blur starts and this is the line where the blur ends so let's end it right here and if we increase the blur see how it's blurring in this area it's a little harder and as it goes further it gets softer so we can do something like this and now have a look how realistic this one looks right now see it goes from harder to softer and then you can work on the color of the shadow later but you get the point how we are supposed to blur it so that's all there is for today. I might add a couple more photos as a slideshow at the end. And thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Pix Perfect Reaction. I really appreciate it. And I would love for you to submit your photos for the next session. And the next session is going to be special because we're going to add a theme to it. And for the next session, the theme is funny. So you need to create something funny. And if you want, you can also download some of my photos and do something funny with it. Do it with your photos as well. It absolutely is fine. The goal here is to just make a funny composite or do something funny with Photoshop. If you want to participate, there are three simple steps. Step number one, follow PixImperfect on Instagram. Even if you don't follow, it's okay. Many of the uh, photos that we featured today were not following PixImperfect, it's fine. Step number two, use the hashtag PixFunny and PixImperfect so that I can track you with PixImperfect and make sure it's a part of PixFunny series. And step number three, Tag me. Create something that can make us all go LOL. By the way, I did not announce the star of the day because I didn't have to. Definitely the star of the day is Ramon Lagoya. Congratulations! I'm so sorry if I pronounce your name wrong, but your work is amazing, exquisite. I can't wait to follow and see more of your work. Congratulations, Ramon. I hope to see more of your work. And guys, do please show some love to him. He's a great artist. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you my friend don't miss any other future tips, tricks or tutorials. I would love to take this moment to thank all these nice and amazing people for helping me keep Pix Perfect free for everybody forever. Thanks so much for watching again. I'll see you in my next one. Till then stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.